Hello and welcome to an episode of AVR Gaming. My name is Jacob and today I'm doing another update video on my National Die Building build. <clears throat> so it's pronounced Die Building, but it's uh, spelt like Diet Building, so that's why it's spelt like that. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but here you can see uh, there's a picture of the real deal and let's jump to my Minecraft version. So um, let me just get out of this little spot here, and voila. So I have done quite a big bit of progress on this building here. I'm really happy with how it's turning out, and I just wanted to show you guys because uh, this is might be the best thing I've ever built. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of this one. Uh, so <laughs> there you go. Let's uh. Let's uh, find an angle that's pretty similar to what we saw in that picture, something like that. We'll pause this, jump out of there, and here it is again. Whoops. This is my girlfriend again. But um, yeah, this is the this is the building. I'm really and I'm really proud of how close I was able to get it. Um, I've tried to position all the windows fairly accurately and all that sort of stuff. If you saw my first video on this thing, you'd have seen the earlier progress. But yeah, it's really come along. So I've built almost half of the building now, because you do kind of have to double it up on the other side. And I've almost done um, most of it. Here it looks like it's all done from this angle, but if we actually go up, you can kind of see that I am not done with a big chunk at the front here uh, and also the s the other wing the house of counselors or some shit what's it called let's um a building um these are just some photos of the actual building that i've been using um national die building house of counselors is the part that i haven't built the part that i have built is the house of representatives not the interior um i am going to build an interior uh, but just <laughs> part of it, uh, the outside I've built so far. Uh, this central part is almost done, like I showed you guys, I have built the tower all and all of that. But what I'm most proud of at the moment, well not most, I don't know, I'm proud of a lot of it, is the, the weird sort of, hold on, I'm trying to find a good photo of it, but there's like a, I know, Google Earth. This is what, what I've been referencing primarily. Um, at the front of the building, it has this like sloping um, little uh, ramp ways along the side. Really huge ramps. Uh, so this is like um, wheelchair accessibility taken to the extreme in this building, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, but yeah, these these were really difficult to build in Minecraft. But I spent all night, <laughs> and I think I got a pretty good result. I'm I'm actually. It was a little bit easier than I expected, because I looked at that and went, nope. But, um, you know, I just stuck to it, and I I, I, I I, did it, and I got these nice ramps built. And I, you know, took advantage of stairs and half slabs and all that stuff to try and really smooth them out. I used some mathematics, some geometry, to figure out how many blocks the slope should go for to get a nice even slope and all that sort of stuff and and I just use my eye to get the the shape right and and just vaguely calculated it but mostly based on eye uh, from the the aerial view if that makes sense and I think it came out as close to perfect as I could have got it um, the thing about uh, curves in Minecraft is you've always got to kind of squint your eye just to make them look right, if that makes sense. You can never quite get them to look pixel perfect because the pixels are so, you know, the square meter blocks, you know what I mean? So you're kind of stuck to uh, making them like that. But yeah, pretty proud of how these came out. Though if, you, if you're curious about how to build something like this, this yourself, the way I initially built it was I, I just drew just the shape of the white outlines first on the ground, no height or anything to them. Um, I actually measured out how big the curves should be based on like where they lined up with some elements on the building. For example, uh, the widest point of the curve, if we go from right here, the widest point is here. And I measured by looking at uh, photos and Google Earth that it should come out at about that point on the building. So I drew a line across and I measured that point there. 
and then I measured the widest point, like at the very middle right here, going this way, that it would line up about with that block there from, you know, photos, and that's where I got that position. Uh, I, cal I, I sort of calculated just by general measurements how far that little point there should be from that corner by eyeing it. And then I just tried to find a couple of points all along the curve um, by comparing it to other points on the building. And then I filled in the gaps by eye and tweaked it until I was happy with the curve. So I started off by drawing up the middle curve here, like that. Once I was happy with this curve, then it was a, a bit of a challenge to try and figure, try and make the road look consistently the same width. Um, all along its duration because you know you can't just like measure this and it's like oh that's like 15 blocks therefore at this point that has to be 15 blocks because when you go on an angle you have to cut it down by like a third or something of the blocks and it gets really tedious and this isn't like a, a perfect circle it's like a weird sort of shape so you really got to kind of mess around with trying to eyeball it correctly and all that stuff but after I did that what I did is I counted the outer blocks, how many of them there are. Uh, it was like 90 something, I think, along this line here. And then I divided it by eight because that's the height here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Um, so I divided it by that and that got us um, approximately 12. I think it was a little under, but I just rounded off to 12. And then what I did is I counted 12 along, and then I went down uh, by a full block, and then went 12 again, and then went down again by a full block. And then I added half slabs, six half slabs on every 12, so then, you know, it goes down by half a slope every every, every six. And that gives us a perfect slope uh, that, that, you know, is a, just a really nice gradual slope that gets to the end. I think I tweaked it a little bit at the very end because it's, um, you know, it's just meant to kind of slope off to an even uh, length at the very end. But the rest of the way down, I got that's how I got a nice even slope. Then there was the challenge of having to um, get the middle slope to match up. Um, I ended up, uh, I think it went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Most of these go down by seven. Uh, but, and then I added the half slabs every four, cause you know, you can't really divide seven into halves without, you know, putting a, a dot point in there and getting a point five. But, um, so we rounded it off up to a four and, um, yeah. And, and a lot of just kind of tweaking and I got this curve to be be nice and then it was a matter of filling in the middle and trying to get these angles to angle up perfectly so that they'd go up to an area where there'll be a full block height and that's basically how I did this massive um, really uneven curve on on these uh, two little ramps or two massive ramps I should say I mean the eight meters high at that point so which is again this building is bigger in this Minecraft world than it is in real life. The main reason, again, being because I wanted to get the proportions right, and when you're working with square meter blocks, you can't really always do that um, with a building like this. So it is maybe like a third bigger, or, or a quarter to a third bigger than it should be in real life. But you know what? That's fine. This building is a massive building in the real world regardless, so I think it's it's not a too big a deal. But I hope, like I'm hoping when I integrate it with the rest of my city, because my city is somewhere down there. You've seen it in my other videos, so I'm not really going to uh, dwell on it too much. I just kind of want to show off my uh, Japanese castle, because I, I always like to look at that whenever I can. So, um, geez, I'm flying slowly. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to integrate it into my uh, Tokyo-inspired city, because that... The uh, National Dai Building, if you haven't, if I didn't explain it earlier, is the capital of Japan building, so it is in Tokyo. But yeah, that's my Japanese castle. But let's move on. So this is going to be the capital of my Tokyo-inspired city, the capital building, the parliament building, whatever you want to call it. The Diet Building. <laughs> And I'll show you around on the interior, because I have worked on the interior, not just this exterior, which I also am re really proud of how it's turning out. 
So, uh, last time you saw it, I had I didn't finish this tower, but I have finished it now, and I'm really proud of how it turned out. Again, not super duper accurate, but it's as close as I could get it, uh, you guys. Um, even like these circles at the front here, I had to remo um, remove two on either side of these strips, because before I had one there and one on the other side, and then it came out a little bit more. And that was the correct amount of circles. I think it would be 10 on each uh, building face. Uh, but I had to remove it uh, to, to make it down to 8. Just to get the shape of the edge of this building looking more correct. And all that sort of stuff. So I've, I've done a lot of tweaking to the little things. I've added a lot of little ornaments and stuff like that. And I've uh, ex messed around with some of the brickwork at the bottom of the building. Which I'll just quickly show you. Because that was the last thing I was working on just before I started filming this video. So, yeah, I've, I've started working on this brickwork and adding a little bit more to the interiors down here. Um, and as well as that, I have uh, started working on this uh, little courtyard in here. So, these buildings have these cool little courtyards in here. And these two walls, of course, aren't done, but these ones are getting there. Uh, so I've been having a challenge trying to get this uh, these walls here to have the appropriate sized windows, because unfortunately... Um, when I built the front of the bill, um, or the side of the, the the House of Council Representatives or whatever it's called here, uh, when I built this building face, uh, then the interior in there was set at a certain length, um, based upon you know all the other walls and measurements. And this this these windows here went in all okay, uh, but this one here has like a slightly weirder dimension to the windows, so. If we jump back to here, uh, see these windows are kind of okay. Again, this is kind of hard to duplicate here because um, I would like to have a single pillar running down the middle of this window in in mine, but I I can't because this is uh, four, not five, not five down the middle of the building here, and we don't have like half slabs that stack. Ver um, vertically, so it's going to be just stuck as a slightly wider window, but you know, these are just minor, minor details. But this face here, I've been having some troubles, because it has these like really weird windows, and again, I can't really put that pillar in there, because it would be way too wide. Just spacing out these windows to kind of, like, these have to match these, but then this has a slightly thinner window, and then the spacing here, and all that jazz, and it's been a... I'm probably going to have to... Um just keep messing with it and just make it slightly inaccurate but you know whatevs it'll be what it'll be um, I'm really happy with the way these uh, sort of glass roofed bits have been coming out that are adding a lot to the top of the building as well so if we uh, look at this building we've got like these um, glass roofed areas also got these like little roofs up here which I have also been adding in and stuff like that a lot of other work with other things like this and that that I'll finish off later on. Um, there's also this little bridge area here, uh, which I also put in, and I think there's another one on the other side, and and we may build that later on, because the reason they, they're there is so they line up with a road that's going to come out the back of the building here. or the um, So I'm going to put that in later on as well. Uh, but before I show you that, um, I wanted to show you the interior of this little courtyard. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find a nice, clear photo of... Where is it? <sighs> There's so many of these little reference photos. Um, there it is. So here is a photo of that actual little courtyard and how it, what it looks like. And it has, you know, the little um, big doorway here, this water fountain here. I even integrated these little, whatever these are, these little pillar... E things, uh, the little stairs that go up here, the sort of roof, and these lamps in all, all four corners. And there's also these like little, I don't know what they are, but they might be like air vents or just like little windows that are under the windows, the, under the main windows, which I've also integrated and tried to get it accurate. So I actually have uh, gone to great lengths to even add little drainage pipes like this thing and these little windows and, and this stuff to make it as accurate as I can. Um, which, you know, I'm really proud of doing that, but the funny thing is most of the interior of the building will be inaccurate because I've only got select photos of certain rooms 
and so I'm just making up a lot of it as I go along. But, you know, I, I know what, what room is going to go here, the House of Representatives. It's like this, um, actually we have photos of it up here. Um, there's a ceiling in it, and this is that room that's going to go in there. It's like this big government um, Senate type room. So I'm going to be building this. Um, let's see if there's better photos. Do, 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 do. There's like a little model of the interior of it. So that's going to help a lot. A little model of the whole building. Um, I don't know where that is, what that is. But yeah, you know, this building we're going to, this room is going to be in here in this space. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to put in these other areas around here. These are just corridors, which are probably very inaccurate. Um, again, I to make the detailing in the windows correct, like as best and looking as I could, I had to make the walls three meters thick. So you can imagine, you could make a whole other room complex by just combining the two wall lengths that might have been in this actual corridor in the real building, but uh, in this one we just have to, all we could fit was a corridor because of the nature of the beast, as it were, with Minecraft. And I've also added a couple little details. This is a cool little grandfather clock design that I came up, came up with, which I'm pretty proud of. It's like the bell here, and like the ticky timey clock up there, um, and some stairways that lead down here. Oops, um, little doors. So this room here, and these like the the doorway entrance thing, um, I based off of photos that I also found. So if I can just quickly find that photo for you guys, um, let's see. Hold on, that's some other stuff. Uh, diet build. It's a, it's a little bit hard to find the specific photos and all of that sort of stuff, but... Oh yeah, here we go. So that, that room is based kind of off of this room here, so if you guys can see that, or... This one here is the specific photo that I used, and using this photo I then made this room. So yeah, it's not absolutely exact, but nothing is in, <laughs> in this building. But that leads us into the main hall, which you guys saw me working on in the previous update video, and I have since finished it, and I'm so proud of it. It came out perfect, I think, or as best as I could make it in Minecraft, at least. So yeah, um, let, let me show you some reference photos of that. You can even see I integrated the three statues. These are three statues of some like prominent politicians. And they have like a fourth little statue base, which is actually accurate. They only have the three statues and a fourth empty base. I read on Wikipedia that they're not sure why that is, but the theories range from they wanted to inspire the uh, other new politicians to maybe be good enough to have their statue put here or they just couldn't agree on like who to put there and I even added details like the little signs that they have that I saw in the photos and these weird little lamps and all that jazz and stained glass windows this roof here so yeah I'm gonna see if I can find some of them photos for you guys uh, okay where is it there we go so here is the, the you know, the, the big picture of it. You can actually make out we have this little statues at the bottom here. We have uh, these big archways, the stained glass windows, these little balconies, and the way these pillars are kind of shaped and all of that sort of stuff. So I tried to make it as accurate as possible. Um, I This all looks like it's made of the same stone, but I tried to integrate like different colors of wood and stuff just to break it up a little bit more, make it look nicer, and I, I think it worked out pretty good. So I'll see if there's... Oh, this is like another Minecraft one that I found. Somebody else is using a weird texture pack, just as an example of like other ones that I've seen uh, built. Um, do I have any more interiors? Sorry guys, I should have been more prepared with this stuff. Oh yeah, here's more of that ceiling. Um, oh yeah, and it's a really small picture, but maybe it won't be... Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> but you, you know, you see the little statues here and all that jazz and like the flooring there. So the photo's horrible. And that's what I tried to recreate here. 
So I'll just give you guys a nice look at it there. We have the big lighting at the top here. These uh, uh, window areas, which have all these columns. I, I really like the how the way that the, you know you know the interior has the sandstone color, whereas the white outside is all white colored. And just got these big arches and all these pillars. And I'm really happy with the way I designed these little statues because these were kind of difficult. I wanted it to not look, you know, awkward and bulky, so I wanted to get the proportions as correct as I could. And obviously, it being Minecraft, uh, to get like a humanoid figure to look um, all right is kind of tricky. But I think this really simple, uh, simple design, you know, scales well with this building, and it's the best I could get it. Um, even uh, even trying to make it accurate to this one having like a little staff <laughs> whereas the other ones are just kind of um, plain so yeah there's the the main hall this uh, terracotta down here took ages to do because you always have to like orient yourself in the correct way to place it and it was tricky to kind of get all of this done here but I'm really happy with how it turned out so yeah let's move on and just kind of look at my unfinished interiors here we've got all these uh, windows so I'm happy how they turned out. I also did some redstone lamps so I was able to fit redstone blocks behind these and because the windows are so thick you could hide that stuff in there and it helps to light up this place because it gets super dark in here without all these lamps around. So this is where we're at on the interior in here. Um, I really like the way I made this little archway roof. I don't know how this isn't accurate or anything I just kind of um, made it up as I went along but I thought it would look nice. Here we've got some skylights and I tried to fit in like some nice little spacious areas up here. Again, this isn't, this probably isn't accurate to how it is, but I, you know, I have to work with what I've got. <laughs> and this is uh, one of my favorite rooms in the building. It's just this like big spacious place under the skylight where you can see the tower up here and the main hall. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. Maybe just some seating or something. Maybe some bookshelves up the sides. But it'll look nice and fancy, I think, when it's done. And yeah, we got even the Japanese flag banners here, which I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So most of this side of the building, again, is pretty damn complete. But it's the other side that isn't. Uh, let's see, I had some stairs. Where were they? Ah, I know. <laughs> the way you get to the stairs, you have to go through here past the big massive doors which are fairly accurate so these are a little taller the real ones are like four four and a half meters tall I think so these are like six meters tall or just thereabouts so you know the whole building is scaled up a tiny bit but up here is the stairways that you go around again don't know how accurate that is but I tried to make the walls look all nice and you know good so here with just a random little room Random stuff. Just trying to get a, a nice interior here where it looks really nice and smoothed out and, and good. Up here we have like a little access way to the space like uh, where I was building all the archways and just it's like a mess of stuff but it is still a uh, space that we could utilize and we could maybe put in like a ladder or a staircase up to um, if we could break in. Okay maybe not here uh, exactly but if we could um, okay, I'll show you guys that later, but <laughs> I just wanted to get into the top of the main tower because there is like a, a nice space up there. It doesn't really have anything in there, but it is a fairly nice little space that we could put something in eventually. And I have beds scattered around everywhere because, I don't know, something about this game, it always feels like it is nighttime in this game. Uh, let me just have a free hand because it's less obtrusive. I'll fly around and I'll show you the open space of the build that I've still yet to work on. So you can see lots, lots and lots needs to be done. And I also have kind of broken one of my rules about uh, working in a um, Minecraft standard world, which is like just... I'm basically turning it into a super flat world here, which I'm not a big fan of super flat worlds. But uh, a building like this really needs it, and you know, you can still integrate it into the rest of the landscape, regardless. So up there is the, you know, the top of the main tower. Uh, there's no real um, access to it at the moment, 
But if we just break in rudely, you can see there is still a nice little space here and a bell up here. And you can just look at the little top of the the actual pyramid at the top. So it just gives you guys a nice idea. And just all the detail work up the fr up, up the front, which I'm really proud of. Um, now I'm having some issues with the um, building this front section of the building because it has to line up with what we've already built. It has to scale with it. And if we mess around with some of that stuff, we have to mess around with the rest of the building. It just becomes a nightmare and a headache. And it gets really uh, annoying. But um, I, I, I do want to... I'm trying to find enough space to be able to build this little area here and here and still have enough for these columns and to make it look, you know, proper and scaled well. Because, you know, like this line here goes almost entirely like straight through here. So I'm just kind of like following these lines to try and get all the shapes right. But when I do that, I don't really have room to put in the appropriate windows and stuff. And it gets a little bit tedious and tricky. Um, so I'm going to work on figuring that, that stuff out. I'm going to keep building and yeah, keep you guys updated about this thing because I'm super proud of it. I think it's coming together really well. Like I said, it's one of my most impressive builds and just the fact that I'm actually make it, making it accurate to a real building is really cool to me. Now, one thing which I want to um, talk to you guys and maybe you can give me some feedback on is an idea that I have to um, do with the next section of the building. So the next section, I'm going to be duplicating this whole building complex, basically, like I said, on the other side. But because I'm a huge Godzilla fan, and Godzilla is like one of the reasons that I'm building this building, because if you guys didn't know, this was one of the buildings that was attacked and destroyed by Godzilla in the very first Godzilla movie, uh, Gojira, 19, the 1954 film. And it's a classic, iconic scene where Godzilla would be rampaging right here, straight through the House of Counselors side of the building, or whatever it's called. And I'm thinking of actually building that with Godzilla in the picture and everything. So I'm just going to zoom over here. And just give you guys this view of the building. Now, it's completely unbuilt, I know. But if you pause that for a second and we go over here. There he is. There is our man Godzilla. Maybe we can um, get a bigger version of this. It's a bit blurry. But there's the tower. There's the building. There's Godzilla trudging through this lovely building. So if we could put him right here. By we, I mean me, because I built this whole thing almost block for block. I mean, I did use commands to like put in the big flat areas, especially the ground here. But for the most part, with the, all the columns and getting all the like windows in and all that, I can't use commands for that. So it's it's been a lot. I've I'm literally like the past three or four days, uh, like for the past three days, I only had like three hours of sleep, maybe like six in total, like spread over three days. Last night I got a little bit more, but overall it's been like I've been working on this thing like non-stop for like four days. <laughs> and that's where we're getting getting it. So it's going to be a big project, but um, to build a Godzilla in Minecraft is going to be so difficult. I don't know if I can do it. Like I have built like a, a Godzilla before because I was meant to show you this in my last video. So... Um, Godzilla Monster of Monsters NES. Um, I did build a Godzilla that was based off of this. Uh, this pixel art sprite from this NES game. I copied all of these pixels into Minecraft. Then what I did is I... I looked for a front-on image of this Godzilla, so I'm not sure if we're going to see it. Maybe if I type in sprite. Where is he? Um, do we even have a front-on image? Or maybe I just made up a front-on image. Hmm. I don't know, I swore there was like a front-on image of this guy, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. 
Uh, but anyway, I, I'm basically I made it from the front and the and the side, and then I filled it all in, keeping it you know all accurate from as many angles as I could, and I just basically built a 3D version of this in Minecraft. I was super proud of it, and it was really awesome. I had this big blue Godzilla. I ended up losing that city. That was the city where I actually had my previous Tokyo Tower. Um, and then I, you know, lost that city because my computer effed up and it broke and, you know, it's kaput, it's gone. Uh, I couldn't retrieve it back. Uh, so now I'm rebuilding my city and I want a Godzilla, but this time if I'm building it, you know, this building on its own is like damn fine. I'm really proud of it. So I don't want to put like a half ass Godzilla in here and to make it, you know, um, to make it by hand. Uh, it's gonna be really difficult because uh, all the curves and the contours and all that sort of stuff because you know it's not like building a building where it's really suited to Minecraft because it's all square but you know Godzilla has a lot of crazy shapes and I want to make him look nice and organic but maybe maybe I'll give it a go guys let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think of that I mean probably I'm gonna assume it's gonna be an overwhelming yes but um, <laughs> but bear in mind that I will have to build it block for block, and it's exhausting. And I should be leading my life in other ways at the moment. I don't know, guys. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Um, I'm super proud of what I was uh, able to build here, and I, uh, your uh, views and support would really make it all worth putting in all the time and effort into it. And of course. Uh, one day I'm going to have this map available for download so you guys can explore it and play around in it. And uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So um, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for checking out my update of my uh, national die building or diet building, as I like to call it, uh, build. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Um, go away now. Bye.